So why made a character turnaround? Is this a tutorial? No, it's not. If you want a good character turnaround tutorial, I'd recommend the one from BAM Animation. That's the one I watched. It's well produced, informative, and has fun hosts. So if this isn't a tutorial, what is it? Well, it's just many minutes of me struggling and complaining. I initially wanted to just cop out and show the process steps, which would result in like a 30 second video. But after seeing Michelle monologue for like six minutes, I felt bad. So when I started this character turnaround, my goal wasn't just to make a turnaround, but to learn how to use open tunes. I wanted to learn open tunes because I thought it might be more beneficial to learn instead of using the file Paka onion skin mode all the time. I didn't think too far ahead and like an idiot didn't record me using the actual software. Luckily, I found some recordings from when I was so frustrated it enticed me to complain to my friends. I'll be using those clips along a slowly progressing turnaround of a grandma. Okay, here we go. At the beginning, I figured it might be difficult for me to draw in a new software, so I had the brilliant idea of first drawing the frames in Fire Alpaca. After I drew them in Fire Alpaca, I would then export them into OpenTunes. I spent two hours trying to import images into OpenTunes because I didn't realize you can't import files with numbers as their names. I then tried to trace over the drawings and vectors, but it was so painful that I gave up for a solid day. I came to the realization that I could just convert my raster drawings into vectors using the in-software converter. At this point, I had half the outline of the character turnaround complete. I wanted to mirror the frames because really, character turnarounds are like five drawings and three mirrored drawings with some tweak to the poses. So I looked up the tutorial on how to mirror a frame and it didn't work. Well, it didn't work well enough. So I tried many different methods. I tried using the animate tool, but it flipped the whole column. I then tried to duplicate the column, then use the animate tool, but then it wouldn't let me merge the two columns. Then I tried to copy paste the frame, but when I flipped it, the original frame I copied from flipped as well. Later I realized, wait, I'm dumb. Copying the frame itself was just the same frame, but on a different spot in the timeline. What I had to do was go into the drawing, select the drawing, not the frame, copy it, go to a new frame, then paste it and mirror it. Now came time to color, which yay, I can just use the fill bucket tool. And OpenTunes has this really neat feature called color styles where you can change the color of the style in all instances of that style being used to change, except I think I'm just not being smart, but I would think the styles used would be consistent throughout the whole scene, except it wasn't. Anyways, I fixed that by just importing the palette into each frame. Was it tedious? Yes. <sighs> okay, so I realized why the color palette style thingy majig wasn't working. It was because, um, so for each frame, I created a new level and it's not how it's supposed to work. Apparently, you're supposed to do the thing thingamajig where you create a new level, then you go into that level, create a new drawing, and that drawing can be acting as a frame. And that way, when you create a new color style, that color style will apply to all the frames in that level. So basically, the reason why my I had to import the palette each time was because it, it had a different level for each frame. And <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, okay, anyways, I'm, okay, back, back, back to whatever I was saying earlier. Here is a mini montage of me struggling. Okay, now that the turnaround is basically complete, I quickly made a background, blah, blah, background, a background. <laughs> I wrote back background in the script. It's okay. <laughs> quickly made a background, struggled with Sony Vegas about the multiplying because it wasn't working, and voila! Character turnaround. Anyways, thank you for listening. I'm kind of aware that the character turnaround isn't the most exciting topic. <laughs> oh yeah, that transformation thingy at the end was also inspired from the BAM animation character turnaround tutorial. I thought it was really cool so I wanted to somehow implement the concept into my own turnaround. Okay, I'm gonna peace out now. <laughs>